miner stat. Could this be the most profitable profit switching miner out there? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're gonna to go over miner stat. I'm gonna show you where to download it, do a brief review, show you complete setup on my AMD rig, show you the dashboard, how to set up profit switching, how to set up wallets, pools, etc. I've been in the cryptocurrency space for about two years now, do a lot of profit switching, comparative miners and GPUs, speculative coin mining, and of course, Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. And I wanted to congratulate again, Pamela, our last week winner. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so let's dive into Miner Staff. All right, so here's their site. Some of you guys may or may not have heard of Miner Staff or not. I'd heard about it a long time ago. Just really hadn't looked into it until here recently, and I'm kind of glad I did, and I'll show you why here in a little while. Remotely manage your GPU and ASIC mining operation. You can scroll down, increased hash rate, optimize your machines by changing the frequency of the ASICs or applying overclock undervolts to GPUs, including tools like RX Boost, Strap Editor, and AMD Memory Tweak. Higher profits, set up profit switch for your ASICs or GPUs for automated selection of the most profitable coin or algorithm. Watchdog triggers, define automated health checks and fixes on your mining rigs, uh, etc., etc. I'm not going to go through all this. Uh, all the stuff I'm talking about will be down below in the description of this video if you'd like to go ahead and check out this for yourself or test it out for yourself. So what we need is the software. So we would click on software. I'm using Windows. So you click on Windows Mining. And then you would click download. I always download the portable zip version. I don't like the installer. I like to get the zip and download it there. So I have this on my NVIDIA rig running right now. And I'm going to show you how to get it set up on your laptop, computer, or full mining rig. So I will walk you through it on my AMD. All right. So let's head over to, I think this is my AMD. Yep. Here's my AMD. So I've already downloaded it, put it in its own folder called Miner Stat. So you would double click on that and then you would just double click on Miner Stat. And then click Run Anyway. Yes. So it'll take a little bit to go through and set up. All right, so Access Key and Worker. So you're going to have to sign up first and you're going to get your Access Key over here you will hover over it right there and of course mine's blocked out but you'll act, copy your access key right there and you're going to put that there worker name you're going to click on workers and we're going to or you can see already have the AMD NVIDIA rig right here so you're going to add a new worker let's call it AMD RIG and this is going to be an AMD rig operating system is Windows add worker so there we go AMD rig so now we're going to go back over to our actual miner and type in let's put in the AMD rig and our access key we got to go back over here so you put your access key in click login give you a check mark all right, so here is the actual, let me close this out right here. So this is, it's pretty basic little, uh, little dashboard here on the actual miner. All the guts of it is online. So we can click start mining and click run anyways. So there we are here and it'll log in and it should automatically pull up the most profitable coin, which we are going to get to how to set up here now downloading all of the actual miners that it needs going through the whole deal and here's the miner in the background looks like it's going to be mining using phoenix miner probably going to be mining ethereum or ethereum classic i would imagine it'll show it here in a sec it'll pop up right here and show you what it's mining right there so what are we doing what are we doing it'll also show you on the dashboard so let's just head over there let's click on dashboard 
And looks like it's probably on Ethereum 47 mega hash, so it's that one's still getting getting busy. So let's head over to the address editor. We'll get back to that stuff in a sec. This is where you put your pool information and wallet information in. So with this kind of a miner, you got to set up the pools yourself and set up your own wallet addresses. Unlike uh, you know a nice hash or a Kudo miner where it all has it in house, it's a little more work, yes, but in the end, it's, at least in my experience here in the past couple days, it's more profitable. So I'm using Mining Pool Hub, as you can see, because over on Mining Pool Hub, I auto switch mine to Bitcoin and then cash it out. So I'm going to show you how to set this up real quick. So again, from your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you just go to Address Editor. It's the first thing you want to do. So Pool, I'm going to set this up for Bitcoin Gold, because I've already set up a quite a few of the other ones so you're going to need to copy this right here now you can go to any pool you want and do this but I'm I'm just doing it here let's see if it'll actually sometimes it won't let me paste it in there we go where are we at here we are all right pool address control B this is going to be Bitcoin gold so BTG and you're going to click add so now we've got Bitcoin gold now we're going to have to add the wallet for it so BTG so Mining Pool Hub just uses your login deal, and I just like to name it just so I know where it is, what miner it's using, stuff like that. So now that I've got my Bitcoin Gold wallet set up and the pool set up, we should be good to go on that, and it will automatically switch to any one of these coins depending on its profitability at any given time. And it goes through that every 10 minutes where it will actually switch, it just checks I'm guessing it goes over to what to mine and checks whatever the latest profitable coin is and it will switch to that. There are literally hundreds of coins that you can set up in pools but I like to do it on uh, Mining Pool Hub like I said because I converted to Bitcoin. So moving on. Let's go back over to Dashboard. Both rigs right now are roughly saying $4 a day so let's go on Workers. And here's our AMD rig running right now. So we can click on details and it'll show you the cards you got going, mega hash per card. Getting about 15, 15, 14, 7, 14, 7, 580 is at 29, 4, 570 is at 31, 3. That 570 always does more than that 580 for some reason. And temperatures, of course it just started and it'll show you, it also show you the mega hash and the different mega hash per coin that you should happen to be mining at any given time. So let's go over to worker config because we've got to set up our wattage. So we can click in here and we can click on AMD rig confirm and it will pull this rig up. We want profit switch enabled. So we'll just scroll down and this is where we want to set up our electricity cost. So I am right now at 0 0.0925. Power consumption this rig does about 500 watts, number of GPUs, we've got six. So save changes. And we will scroll all the way back up. Let's go back to the dashboard. So total of 950 watts right now, making gross about 398 a day after about $1.86 after power cost. So we're looking at about 5777 a month after power. All right, so let's go over back to workers. And we need to set up profit switching now. Real quick, are you guys going to be downloading and trying out Minerstat? Let me know below by just typing in a yes or no in the comments section. Always interested to know what you guys are doing and what your guys' thoughts are. So profit switching, AMD rig, I've already set it up on the NVIDIA. So you go right here, it says profit switch, you click on that. And then you can select your coins, the ones I've already got set up. So let's scroll through and go to Ethash. Where are we at? Ethereum Classic. We've already got the pool set up. It's already all populated. Ethereum Classic pool fee is at about 1%. And you just leave it on auto select. Click add. And we will go back to Ethash again and put down Ethereum now. Ethereum wallet, Ethereum 1% add and etc cetera, etc cetera. that's how you set up profit switching so I'll just go through and set up the rest of them we should have Ravencoin I know we've got in here 
that's x16r where are we at x16r and there's raven i've already got the pool for raven and the wallet and we just click add all right so that's how you set up the profit switching so you just click save changes so we go back over to the dashboard so we're sitting at 398 gross still a day dollar 86 take home so if you go back over to this say a dollar 96 gross and if you go over to my nvidia rig about a dollar 99 so that's pretty close all right so let's click on profit switch again let's go down for amd so after you set up your profit switching you have to go down and set up your mega hash that you're getting on your rig or computer and a power consumption so as you can see i've already done this let me scroll down to see if we can find it i've already done it on my nvidia rig so i don't think it'll show up on here so there's ethash so we're doing about 120 mega hash at a total of about 500 watts so save that just make sure whatever pool and whatever coins that you select when you click on the profit switching and you add them up here you also got to go down and add the actual hash rate and power consumption clock tune i leave that alone because i use afterburner on both of my rigs so i don't even touch that there's a lot to do with minor stat that you can get into but that is pretty much the basics of it and how to set everything up click back on dashboard so now that you have all that set up this will automatically now go and profit switch the miners and now it's already jumped up to 402 it'll profit switch and at any given time i guess it goes over to what to mine and is constantly every 10 minutes seeing what the most profitable coin is at any given time let me click calculate see what it says scroll down and you can set up nice hash through that as far as pools you if you want and get a whole bunch of other coins going in I like I said I just set up mining pool hub because I can auto switch to Bitcoin but you can set up set it to go up through nice hash and use their auto switching feature and switch that to Bitcoin as well which is a cool option but there's ethereum at the top so if ethereum classic here in the next 10 or so minutes jumps ethereum both those rigs should switch over to ethereum classic and start mining and that's all done on the fly and you don't have to worry about it so 120 on that's mining ethereum right now and this rig is mining ethereum classic so this is the amd rig let's see what it says click on this click on that pull my amd rig up and see what it says so ethereum so that's why this is on ethereum right now at 120 and ethereum classic on the nvidia rig so that's pretty accurate but in a nutshell guys that is minor stat any questions or comments just put them down below also be sure to check out my better hash update video it should be popping up here in a second be sure to like subscribe and spread the word if you know anyone who might be interested in this video please share it with them i would appreciate it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one take care